Okay, so hello ulit guys. Uh, di, uh, tuloy lang natin yung uh, lecture natin. So, andito tayo sa round of and chopping errors. So, we have here numbers such as pi exponential or square root of 7 cannot be expressed by a fixed number of significant figures. Therefore, they cannot be represented exactly by a computer which has a fixed word length. Okay? So, ang computer natin kasi merong exact uh, fixed word length. So, naka-fix siya. Depende yan sa isa-setup mo sa computer natin. Kung ilan ang i-display niyang digits. Ngayon kasi, itong pi exponential and square root of 7 is merong certain value. Ay, walang Kumbaga, infinite siya, infinite value. Okay? So, continuous yan. Pero, kung mapapansin nyo, pati dito sa calculator natin, uh, merong, ano siya, limited. But actually, ang value niyan is continuous, katulad niyan, mga katlong yan. So, this discrepancy introduced by this omission of significant figures is called the round of error, ay, the round of and the chopping. So, yun, may, kailangan nating mag-commit si round, kay round off at saka kay chopping. So, if pi is to be stored on a base 10 system carrying 7 significant digits, sabi natin, pag sinabing uh, base 10, yan yung decimal natin. So, going back to your computer fundamentals, napag-aralan nyo yung different number systems like uh, decimal, base 10, binary, base 2, octal, base 8, and uh, hexadecimal, base 16. Okay? So, in this situation, we have base 10. So, decimal yan. Tapos, dapat daw, 7 significant digits lang siya. So, for example, itong si chopping natin, 3.14159.2. Ganyan siya. Pero, tingnan natin sa Google, uh, ano ba yung exact value ni uh, pi? Value of pi. So, ayan. Uh, pro, uh, continuous yan. Diba? Continuous. So, the number pi is a mathematical constant. It is defined as the ratio of a circle circumference to its diameter and also and so on. So, tingnan nyo dito. Ang, ang dami yung value ni pi. Diba? Continuous yan. Pero, dito sa ano natin, isa-chop lang natin siya. So, pag sinabing chop, as in, kinat lang. Okay? So, 3, eh, sulat natin. So, 3.14159269265535535 and so on. Ngayon, nilalagay natin siya into 7 significant figures. So, using chopping, chopping, so, 7 significant figures, kukunin natin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, we have 3.141592. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, kinuha natin hanggang dito. Ngayon, pag round off, round off, of course, ila round off natin. So, itong 2, mara-round up. Diba? Ma-round ma off natin. Dahil si 6. Dahil kay 6. So, usual. Normal rounding off. 9, 3. Okay. So, mapapansin nyo yung difference ni choppy and round off. So, yan. So, yung error niya, ito, error ni chopping, 65. And error ni round off is 0 0.35. Naintindihan. So, parang mas recommended si round off kasi mas maliit yung discrepancy niya from the true value compared kay chopping. So, some machines use chopping because rounding has additional computational overhead. Okay, next. We have the number presentation. Okay? So, ganyan lang yung number presentation. So, kayang-kaya nyo yung 
maintindihin ng kayo lang kasi uh, ayan itong 9 10 raise to 0 10 raise to 1 so isulat nyo lang na pa ganyan tapos i-count nyo lang 0 1 2 3 4 tapos naka-base 10 lang siya so ayan lang ganyan lang siya ganyan din si 173 in base 2 so pag in base 2 naka-binary yan so for example ito 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 okay so, ito yung complete solution niya. Pero, kapag ano natin, shortcut, tuturo ko na sa inyo. So, 1, 1, 0. Ay, 1, 0, 1. one zero one 1, 0, 1, 0, 10, 10, 11. Ayan. Diba? So, kunin lang, lagyan natin dito sa taas. Ito yung shortcut para makuha nyo agad-agad yung value nya. Kapag base 2, 2, base 10. So, kumbaga, base 2, 2, base 10. So, yan lang applied nya. So, 1, lagyan nyo dyan sa taas. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 1, 28. And kapag ganyan, ang add nyo lang, ang add all ones. Okay? So, ano yung value natin ng 1? 128, uh, 32, 8, 4, and 1. So, we now have 10, 8, 18, 19, plus 4, 3, 13. Uh, 20 pa lang. 23. Then, 2, 4, 7, 1. Okay. So, itong 0 point, itong ano, naka-base 2. So, ito na si base 10 niya. So, tama ba? Okay. So, tama. Okay. Yun lang. Next, we have the representation of numbers. Negative 173 and 16-bit computer. So, ito kasi, 16-bit kasi 1 and 0. So, sa, yung isang square na to, Ang tinatawag, tawag dyan is bit. Okay? Isang bit yan. Ngayon, pag kinount nyo yan, considered as 16 bits. And yung sa dulo, nilagay lang niya is 1 kasi negative. So, negative 1 kapag positive, 0. Okay? Tapos ito na yung 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Yan na yung, ano natin, uh, value na 173 na kinumpute natin ganyan. Next, okay, we have parts. So, ito na yung computer presentation of a floating point, floating point number. So, we have the mantisa, the sine exponent, and the 1. Okay, so ito, yung M natin, uh, mantisa, B is the base, and the E is the exponent. Next, so ayan. 156.78. Ilalagay natin siya into floating point number system. Okay? 156.78. So, floating point number system natin. Floating point number system. Number system. So, we have 1567E. So, andito yung, ano, imove lang natin, 1, 2, 3. So, meron tayo 0 0.15678 times 10, since naka-decimal siya, so 10, base 10. And then, 3. So, ito si Mantisa. Ito si base. And ito si exponent. Okay? So, same thing with the other. This one, fraction. Okay, next, normalize. Sabi dito, so ito na yung ano, a floating number system ni 1 over 34. Ngayon, meron kasi dyang 0 sa itaas, ay sa unahan. Kaya, kailangan natin inormalize. Paano natin inormalize? Inormalize natin yan by removing the leading 0. Okay? 
So, ito now, multiply the man tisa by 10 and lower the exponent by 1. But actually, imumove lang natin yan. Di ba? So, 0 0.0294 0 0.0294 times 10 raised to 0. Okay? 0. So, normalize. Ang sagot dyan, 0. Point, so, parang ito, may move doon. So, pag left, to the left yung move, magma-minus tayo. So, 294 times 10. So, 0 minus 1, di ba? 0 minus 1 equals negative 1. Kaya ang exponent natin is negative 1. Naintindihan. So, ito na yung in-normalize natin. Inalis natin yung 0 sa unahan. Next. Pero kasi, di ba, kailangan 4 decimal places. Kaya, kinuha natin yung isang significant figure from the original. That's why, nagdagdag dito. Kailangan natin magdagdag dito ng 1. Next. Uh, ito na, no, normalizing. Basahin nyo na lang. Yun. And then ito, what is the smallest positive floating point number? Okay, so just read the PowerPoint in the module. And now, your turn. What is the largest positive floating point number that can be represented using a 7-bit word? 3-bit reserve for Mantisa. Oh, what is the largest positive floating point number? Okay, so ito, ituloy na lang natin ulit sa next video. Thank you.